that first sip of morning coffee. For many, it's a non-negotiable ritual to kickstart the day. But what if I told you that this habit, ingrained in our daily lives, might actually be working against you? You might be sabotaging your energy levels for the rest of the day. The secret to unlocking sustained energy isn't more coffee, but when you drink it. Today we're diving into a simple but powerful biohack, waiting 90 minutes after you wake up before your first cup. To understand why, we need to look at our body's natural alarm clock, a hormone called cortisol. When you wake up, your body initiates a cortisol awakening response. In the first 30 to 45 minutes of your day, your cortisol levels naturally spike. This is your body's way of pulling you out of sleep and making you feel alert. If you introduce caffeine during this peak, you're essentially telling your body, hey, I don't need your natural wake-up call, I've got this. Over time, your body may produce less cortisol in the morning, making you more dependent on caffeine just to feel normal. By waiting about 90 minutes, you allow this natural cortisol peak to pass. You're timing your caffeine intake for when your body's natural alertness begins to wane, making the caffeine far more effective. But that's only half of the story. The other key player is a molecule called adenosine. Think of adenosine as your sleep pressure molecule. As you go through your day, adenosine builds up in your brain, making you feel progressively sleepier. When you sleep, your brain clears this adenosine away so you wake up feeling refreshed. Here's where caffeine works its magic. It blocks the adenosine receptors in your brain, preventing you from feeling tired. However, if you drink coffee right after waking, when adenosine levels are at their lowest, there's not much for the caffeine to block. The adenosine that hasn't been fully cleared just waits. Then a few hours later, as the caffeine wears off, all that waiting adenosine floods your receptors at once. The result? The dreaded afternoon crash, leaving you reaching for another cup. By delaying your coffee for 90 to 120 minutes, you give your body time to naturally clear out the remaining adenosine from the night before. When you finally have your coffee, it's working on a clean slate, effectively blocking the new adenosine that's starting to build up. This leads to more stable, sustained energy throughout the day, without the sharp peak and devastating crash. So try this simple experiment. Tomorrow morning, instead of reaching for the coffee pot, hydrate with water and get some sunlight first. Wait 90 minutes, you might just discover the key to better energy, focus, and even improved sleep.